Well, hey friends, welcome back to Waterview Mountain. Today we're gonna, we're gonna do part three of the how to build the intubating box to help prevent the coronavirus or prevent the spread of coronavirus. Uh, as you can see, we're in the operating room. Uh, I'll try to go slow. And today we're gonna take a look at the intubating box on the bed. We're working on getting a mannequin up here right now. And then uh, we're gonna see how this works out. As you can see, the, the box fits perfectly. It's 20 and a half inches across the back here, or what they call the front. It fits perfectly on the sides of the bed. As you can see, I'll get down kind of close. It fits right in this rail system that we have. It can sit on the back here, or if we slide it forward a little, it'll go back down. But it's pretty secure inside both sides of the, both sides of the bed. So this is what it looks like set up. We got a little headrest pillow there, and then you can see our, our arms are right here. So from the first person view, looking down, put my hand through the box, I got the head right here. This will make a whole lot more sense in just a minute once we have a mannequin or a person in place. Um, but just like a first person shooter game, right? There you go. Now we're inside the box. Everything the patient coughs uh, is gonna come up here uh, or go out through the front. All right, so let's take a look at the intubating box from the foot view. So you're looking up at me as I'm about to put this patient to sleep. Obviously not a real patient, we got a mannequin. Um, so we just have to run our circuit through the front so it comes in through the big opening, right? So during intubation, mask goes on, we pre-oxygenate our patient. Uh, we have head straps here, so I can put the head straps around, hold it in place pre-oxygenate three to five minutes, right? Set my mask aside, I'll set it over here so you can see. Reach in. Good view of the cords. Got my tube right here. A little awkward, it's a little bit tight. And of course, plastic on plastic doesn't work so well. All right, so let's take a look from the side, right? So, pre-oxygenate, we have our vent tubing coming in from here. We got our head straps. Still have plenty of space. I don't know, it's probably eight, nine inches uh, above the, the head of the mannequin here. So we're pre-oxygenating. We induce our patient. Bail that out, inflate the cuff, mask off. I'm gonna reach back and squeeze the bag. Easy breezy, lemon squeezing. Okay, now for extubation, we do something a little different than normal. We're gonna disconnect the connector piece from our circuit and our ET tube. We're gonna feed our ET tube through the mask and we're gonna hook it back up. Okay, so we have the mask over the face, and then we're gonna feed the balloon through. There we go. And then, just like always, deflate the balloon, pull the tube, hold the mask in place. Not that you can see the mask because my hand's in the way, but that's the way we do it. That way, if the patient coughs or bucks, it's all contained within the system. So contained in the mask is contained here. Uh, and if we're concerned, either we'll leave the blue, we'll leave the drapes up 
so that that helps provide additional protection towards the feet or we can put a, a surgical towel or something with a small piece of tape we can put it right there and that provides additional protection so there you go so thanks for checking out this series um, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take with that router. Um, it took me a couple days to get into the OR here uh, and test it out, get some of my colleagues to test it out. But overall, I think everybody likes it. It's a little adjustment, uh, but as you can see from the videos, it works. Uh, everything stays contained in the box itself there. You can leave all your dirty stuff inside of it. And then whatever your protocol is for cleaning, whether it's Clorox wipes or a Clorox uh, bleach uh, solution, you can just clean it the same way you clean everything else in the OR after you have a, uh, a COVID patient or whatever setting you're in. So as always, thanks for checking us out. Make sure you like, you subscribe if you want to. Definitely share. Again, I can't emphasize how important this is. There are places all over the country where folks are short to proper protective equipment. So share it with them. See if they're handy enough that they can just knock one of these out uh, or have other ideas. I'm wide open to other ideas. So leave a comment down below if you have a better idea, uh, and maybe we'll work on that and post another video. So in the meantime, as always, take care of yourselves.